Around this time of the year, I plan which certs and trainings I'm going to take in the next year. And I wanted to share this with you so that you can use it as a reference. But instead of just sharing my goals and my plans, I also wanted to add to this list what I believe are going to be the certs in high demand in 2026. And this is based on hiring trends, cybersecurity demand, cloud adoption, and what enterprise are actually paying for. So if your goal is to get a job or increase your income, you don't want to miss this one. First, let's do a quick search on LinkedIn for network engineer roles around Europe. And this is one of them. Um, senior network engineer, 100% remote in Spain. Uh, and this is what they're looking for. Certifications such as CCNP, CCIE, PCNSCE, CCSA, this is Checkpoint, CCSC, F5, AWS, Azure, Network Specialty or CISP are preferred. Okay, so a mix of networking, enterprise and uh, network security. Okay, let's look at another one. And this one is hiring a uh, senior network engineer, Spain again. And they are looking, let's see if they have here certs. Oh, they offer coffee. What about certs? Okay, so CCNP, that's what they mentioned. And that would be probably a, a mix of enterprise and security based on the technologies they require here, like Cisco Ice, Cisco and Fortinet, Cisco Mirai, a little bit of wireless ish there. Now let's look at another one. And this is for network deployments engineer in Ireland, Dublin. And this one, they're looking for uh, professionals with CCNA, CCNP, Juniper. Let's go to another one, uh, lead network engineering, Sweden. And they are looking for Cisco CCNP, CCIE. I would say this is, uh, let's see. Network design, wireless, project deliver. I would say this is probably enterprise and security because I mentioned here 802.1x. So probably as long as you have a little bit of wireless and Cisco eyes uh, because Aruba, this is for wireless. So a little bit of enterprise there and security. And also they mentioned here Azure Network Engineer associate or cloud networking experience. So just based on these results, there are some certifications that stand out like uh, Cisco certifications, uh, cloud certifications like Azure, AWS and GCP, and also for security or network security, uh, Palo Alto certifications, Fortinet certifications and checkpoint. So now let's get into which certs you need in 2026. And the first one is going to be CCNA. This is probably one that is required across different companies. I won't say other companies, but most of them will require you to have CCNA. And then you can specialize on a different track in case it is required on that specific position. Now, as for specialization, you can select between uh, the enterprise, wireless, collaboration, data center, security, uh, service provider, cybersecurity, or DevNet profession that is going to change to automation. In my case, there are two Cisco exams that I plan to take next year. The first one is going to be the uh, DC core, implementing and operating Cisco data center core technologies. And the other one is going to be the DC ACI, implementing Cisco application center infrastructure. Now the question might be why you're going to take these two exams. One of the reasons is that Cisco ACI is in high demand at this moment. I was approached by different companies this year and the number one reason why I didn't get those projects is because I didn't have uh, the required skills to manage an ACI infrastructure. And this is something that have been changing this year and by next year, definitely I'll be in a better position than this year. Uh, the other reason is that I have uh, two vouchers to take these exams, the DC, ACI and the DC core. So why not take the shot? But I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to pass these exams. It's just going to be uh, the, for the experience. But anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. Now, still in data center track, but for a different vendor, the other training that I plan to take in 2026 is going to be related with a recent networks. Actually, I already started this year and I believe you should take uh, as well because 
uh, Arisa is gaining market here around Europe. And I believe that as a network engineer, you should be able to navigate across different platforms, across different vendors. And uh, they have um, uh, a platform where you can get started for free. I already shared some videos here on my channel and you can check that out. And they also have different tracks like uh, data center, campus, when routing and automation and foundation tracks. But if you are someone with already expertise skills on Cisco networks, it will be easy to start using Arisa networks. In the cloud space, Azure is in high demand at this moment. And I believe that it will still be in 2026 that's why i recommend you to take this training uh az700 design and implement microsoft azure network solution it is a great course for those who already have some uh, experience with networking on-prem and want to start using networking on cloud and it will be easy for you to navigate from on-prem technologies to cloud technology trust me i already did this training uh, and they also have some great labs, although with a lot of bugs, because you'll be assigned a free subscription and some labs might not work with that subscription. But this is something that uh, you can try to navigate, at least to get an understanding of the topics and what they expect from a cloud network engineer to do and to deploy. Finally, in terms of security or cybersecurity, these two certs are in high demand and I believe they will still be in 2026. I'm talking about the Fortinet NSE4, but if you want to combine it with uh, another NSE5 cert level to achieve the FCP status. But based on my experience, uh, companies are really looking for individuals, professionals that know how to manage and operate a FortiGate uh, device. And the other one uh, for Palo Alto, and they have this new certification is the Network Security Professional, which essentially uh, tells that an individual knows how to operate and manage the Palo Alto firewall. Few companies might require you to have also the CCSA, that's the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator, but again, if you have the skills, if you know how to operate a checkpoint firewall, uh, most of the companies, they won't care if you have the certification or no. But as long as you know how to operate, manage, maintain a firewall, that's what they are actually looking for. And this is the list of certs or trainings that I recommend you to take in 2026. If you already have one certification, great, but try to add one more or at least try to learn a new skill because this is going to help you to differentiate across other professionals during an interview process because you're going to appear as the best cost effective option for that company. If you have domain across different platforms, different domains, different vendors, this is the best for you, okay? So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year.